Hello, welcome to a new Trigger Weekend Masterclass. And in this Masterclass, I'm going to show you um, how you can do troubleshooting in your application. Um, in this case, I am going to show you how you can see or how you can find the flow part where the issue occurs. I'm going to show you in the application first how that works and then I'm going to show you in the flow parts itself in the designer how that works. Um, so what I prepared is um, a simple calculation and what you can do is you can do well this flow this user flow executes division uh, plus minus multiplication of a certain amount and as you might know it is impossible to divide by zero. You can see the form fields here with all the numbers. Um, and as you can see, we've got a division of zero. Well, let's put it to one first. Um, and when I click calculate, everything will work perfectly. So there you go. The end result is, uh, is uh, apparently this number. Um, if I go back and I would keep division at zero and would click calculate, you would get an error, which says, in this case, request to server fails. Um, the question, however, is where did it go wrong? So let me show you in the designer um, what I've created. So we go to design and user flows. And as you can see here, we've got the calculate user flow. Uh, this is the page where you enter all the amounts and values. There you go, division yeah. zero, etc. And when I go a little bit down, um, well, for this Trigger Weekend Masterclass, I created a decision where I show it with troubleshooting and without. Um, but what Trigger does, and that's very important to remember, is um, Trigger executes everything between two pages. So in this case, we've got the amount and calculation values. Um, and what Trigger does before it reaches this page with the end result is it executes all the flow parts that we have, um, but it doesn't process it yet. So it does, let's say, a trial run first, and it checks if, if everything goes okay. And if it doesn't go okay, Trigger shows you the error that I just showed you in the example. Um, but the question in this case is, where did it go wrong? Because we've got a calculation of division, calculation of minus, calculation of multiplication, and calculation of plus. So how can we check this? Well, if you know this concept, you can also use it in your advantage. So what you can do is place a page between every flow part because Trigger only does the test run between two pages. So it first checks, can I do the calculation plus? Then it shows the end result on this page. Then it checks between these two pages, can I do the multiplication? Yes, I can etc etc well let me show you how this works in the actual application so we have the actual application again and um, well like I said I have to, the decision to show you with troubleshooting um, and I've marked I checked that chat box right now and when I click on calculate I will go through every flow part in a standalone way where after executing that flow part, we check the result on a page first. So if I click calculate now, first we're gonna get the result where we add the calculation plus, then we have the result of the flow part with multiplication, then with minus, and in this case, when we click next, we get that error again. So now we know 
which flow part is causing the issue. Because we got the error between these two pages. So in this case, the issue has to be here. And that is the calculation of division. And well, that makes sense in this case, because like I said, it's impossible to, to divide by zero. So if you ever need to do troubleshooting and you've got a whole bunch of flow parts all connected to each other between two pages, put pages in between to find out where the error occurs. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel.